about minimalist photography, you probably think of photographs that are quite simple and clean and uncluttered. And while a lot of the photographs I take today are probably going to fall into that sort of category, when I'm saying I'm out for minimalist photography, that's not actually what I mean. What I mean is that I've come out with an absolute minimal amount of gear with me today. Been been feeling a little bit bit down about. Uh, um, I guess about how many people are currently doing it tough with restrictions and things at the moment and how there seems to be a lot of people with a lack of compassion towards people like that. I think, I think because this whole situation with the pandemic kind of involves everybody, that everybody somehow then thinks they're able to that everybody's experience of it is the same and that's so not the case because some people have benefited from it some people it hasn't made a lot of difference to some people it's had a minimal impact and other people it's had quite a profound impact and um, oh, I just really wish more people could be kind and thoughtful to those that are really doing it tough Yeah, I've just been feeling a bit down about it all these last couple of weeks and um, finding, I guess, creativity difficult, finding, I don't know, for some reason I've been a bit stuck of having difficulty just communicating very well with people. Um, yeah. So today I thought I would come out unburdened of gear just to focus on the details of things or minimal things so what I've got is my S5 but with my Canon 100 macro and that is the only lens I've brought out with me I've got that and I've got the GoPro which I can mount upon the top of my camera so that's getting carried around like that and that's basically it I've got my phone in my pocket and my car key in my pocket and they're the only stuff I've got um because yeah I just wanted to feel a bit uh, freer of things I guess I've been wandering around a little bit and by around I mean I haven't walked very far but I've been out for a while and uh it's it's not just oh been chicken Anyway, oh, what was I saying? He was obviously telling me I was waffling on for too long. Um, yes, I came out with the intention of doing macro photography. And while I have done a little bit of macro, I've also been um, doing, I guess, a bit more, again, of those close-ups of the bark of trees, um, play of light, just anything that catches my eye. There was some interesting leaves back there these big leaves that uh had been partially eaten and they had they were backlit by the sun and i quite liked the different abstract sort of shapes that they made so yeah just anything that captures my eye i'm not really worried too much today about whether i capture great images or not it's more about just being present in the moment um, enjoying where i am noticing little details that uh I probably often would just walk straight past. Now I don't think I said I'm actually down at a little bit of um, foresty area in Matrabar which used to I used to live just down the road from here so I used to come here quite regularly like you know two or three more times a week just to have a wander and oh, I'm doing a lot of rambling today that's uh Let's get on and uh, have a bit more of an explore, shall we? A bit more photography.
for I'm sure most of you out there who love nature and landscape photography that it's probably your place of refuge that you go to uh, kind of boost yourself and make you feel better so for those of you who are in lockdown and uh, aren't able to get out into it I feel for you I hope that those of us that can can share a little bit of it to try and help you help you through the whole process I know it's not the same but uh, yeah we're all here and uh, I'm sure we we can all empathize with you this too shall pass Mr. Whippy Van. I could go, Mr. Whippy. It'd be lovely for an ice cream. But I brought no no money with me. Or a card. Oh, although I do have my phone and I just set that up the other day to be able to do paper. <laughs> Don't think Mr. Whippy's over here though. 